I hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas, spending as much time as you can with your family, but if you need a couple of minutes break right now while your third course of Christmas dinner goes down so you're ready for your fourth, here we are. And in anticipation of me finally getting back behind the wheel of the SD1 again, and I promise this is the last episode where we just tease it, the next one with the Rover will be real work happening, I'm going to unwrap some of the parts that I've been buying for it for Christmas. Crikey, he's heavy. Well, this right here, this is a monstrous radiator that I picked up on eBay a little while ago, and hopefully it'll be a direct fit. It's the same fitment and everything as the original one, it's all the same mounting pins, but you can see the chunkiness of it is absolutely unreal. Now, we're not gonna be able to do a proper episode on me fitting this because I actually have to bring it with me to Wales because the radiator that's in the car at the, at the minute is already leaking all over the place. So before I can drive it back here and start doing proper filming, I gotta throw this in while I'm down there for Christmas. But I'll get some phone video and see what we can put together on that one. Oh, crikey, it's all really, really heavy. Now next up, we've got my new vented upgrade front calipers, which I think came off of a test, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't actually looked at these things properly. So there's room for some mistakes here. Oh, box opening itself for me. And here they are, They're looking only marginally less rusty and old than the ones we took off the Thunderbeard. So here's the pair of them. Now I'm looking at them and I can see we've got one hose inlet, which means they're not off of a TESS. I don't know what they are off, but they're not off, not off of a TESS. So these I think would have come off a maybe later model Vandenplar EFI or something. The difference between these and the Vitesse calipers, I'm not sure internally, but for some reason the Vitesse calipers have two um, hydraulic inlets and I guess it's because maybe they don't have a crossbar that connects the hydraulic fluid from one side to the other or something like that. I haven't seen a pier so I don't know, that's just my, my best guess. So hopefully early in the new year I'll be getting myself a nice set of vented rotors and we'll throw those on. And finally, the one that I'm definitely most excited about, even though it's most useless, is a full set of Autoplast Series 2 louvers. Now these are basically like hen's teeth. You cannot find them for love nor money, and it just happens, I was rolling around eBay a little while ago in much the same aimless way that I was when I found the car initially, and I found a set of Series 2 louvers. Now these here, are a full set of Autoplast Series 2 SD1 rear louvers, and basically, I've never seen another set for sale, ever. I wasn't even sure if they existed. Um, so when I bumped into a set on eBay randomly while doing a search a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't not. Uh, there was a hefty scene tax, unfortunately, but uh, even with that, still had to be done. Well, the stuff I've just showed you is all we have here. Everything else for the engines, that's the turbo, the turbo manifold, and the ECU, are actually all down in Wales at the minute because that's where the new engine is being rebuilt. Now, I still haven't got any, up any updates on that, so I'm hoping that maybe over Christmas break I might be able to check in with the builder and see how that's going. Well, that's everything for today. Hope you enjoyed the catch up and the quick run through of the parts I've got. To keep up with this and all of our other builds, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're going to keep loads and loads of new videos coming in the new year. Check out shop.pedalbox.show where you can buy these spiffy t-shirts. Well, not this one because it's out of print now, but you can get t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, all the usual stuff. You can also support us directly at patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show. The nice thing about Patreon, if you support us on there, you'll also get access to our patrons only Discord, which is where you can talk to us, ask us questions. And I'll also be talking about the SD1 pretty much in real time as I get it back. So hopefully there should already be some content in there that you can check out. And you can keep up with us on other social media as well with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're pedalbox show on all three of them. So you can keep up with everything we're doing on there. That's everything for today. Hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you next time. Let's be fair, as soon as I've got the rover back, it'll be in the pedal box discord. Even if it's just, hey! like even if that's all it is.